Oh uh, yeah, let's stick an empty Jaeger shot in a bag and sell it for three dollars. That's kind of desperate, guys. <laughs> Today, everybody, the goal is simple. We are going to try and turn this into five of these. We're going to take you with us. Oh, buddy, it's a busy today. Busy, busy, busy today. There we are. Hi. Oh, mate. Goodbye. A few moments later. Alrighty, what is up everybody? So we are done in the first thrift store. We spent a total of $11.66 and we got five, six, seven, we got eight books, meaning we have about $88 of our original hundred left to go. So what we do is we use an app called Scoutly when we're scanning books, drop the receipt there, Okay, we use an app called Scoutly. We pay about $44 a month for it. Very, very helpful. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen here. Now, what you're wanting to look at is the number on the left side, as what we're doing is something called Merchant Fulfilled, which means we're actually doing all the customer service, packaging the order, shipping it to the customer, and handling returns if need be. All right, here we go, guys. We are at Goodwill. Now, I know. We never find anything at Goodwill. Goodwill's not really that good to us. But we are going to try anyways. You never know. It's uh, It's been random sometimes. You know, you can go like three weeks without ever finding anything here, and then all of a sudden you just, you kill it. So we're going to go in, see what we find. Uh, now, there's only a couple thrift stores here in town, so we might actually go about 45 miles down the highway uh, to another town. But we'll see. We'll see what we find here. Okay, so we're out of Goodwill, and yeah, no, we didn't find much. We got this book right here. Okay, we paid $1.99 for it. Off that guy, we'll get about $21.50 for it. Uh, and then I got this guy, which is like a roll the dice. This guy's just for me, uh, and do the workout that it lands on. And I mean, this was $0.99, cents, so yeah, it cut into our 100 but it's a dollar. Uh, I think we are going to go ahead and hop over to the next town. A little bit of driving ahead of us, but that's okay. I will see you guys shortly. Look at that canyon. The only bridge in America you can legally base jump off of right here. Right there. Yep. Scenic overlook. Okay, so here we are at the next thrift store. Right, well, right there. Right? Yeah. The trees are beautiful right now. Springtime. Gotta love it. Other than the wind. The wind here is hellacious. Um, so I'm going to take this guy in just because we can scan up to a thousand books an hour with this guy. Now the other thrift store, that was, you know, that's like five minutes from our home. So we go there every day pretty much and, and check in. So we don't need to scan through everything because we would just be re-scanning stuff that we had already scanned. So I usually just take my phone in, Amazon app, we're good. This guy, however, since, you know, usually they cycle through... 30, 40, 50% of their books are going to be new because we only come out here once a month or once every month and a half or so. We're going to take this guy, and if this guy dies, then we have the other one as well. So if you guys want one of these scanners, uh, the link will be in the description down below. They're about 20, 30 bucks, but my goodness, you can get five hours of work done in an hour, hour and a half with one of these. Um, and it's really good. I mean, if you're just looking for some side income, that's why we do these videos. So let's get to it go in see what we find a few moments later alrighty what is up 
weird camera angle. So we got only got three books in there and nothing else, but it was okay. It was this guy right here, uh, developing person through the lifespan. This one's going on eBay because we are restricted on Amazon. It'd be about $116 on Amazon. We paid $4, $11 total for everything we got. Um, but it'll be about $39.95 on eBay versus the 100 bucks on Amazon. What are you going to do? I'm um, not going to complain though because it was only $4. This uh, Warhammer Chronicles Troll Slayer 40th anniversary in like really, really nice condition. 65 on Amazon, but there's no sales rank on Amazon. So this is one of the ones that probably would sit on Amazon for a very, 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 very long time. So we're going to throw it on eBay for about $29.95 uh, and see if it moves at that. So not that great for that one. We spent $11. Um, we will make some pretty good money, but when it comes to quantity, we didn't really get a good quantity of books to sell there. There's a couple more thrift stores in this city, uh, and then we may actually end up going to another city that's about 20 minutes past this one. Very, very small. This one really is a town, very small town. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to it. Okay, so there was definitely a picker that beat us here, but we still got some. Um, our best find would be, I believe, that guy right there. But all in all, did pretty good.
Okay, so that was fun. Um, this rain, I don't know if you can see how well, yeah, there you go, that's a good picture. This rain came out of nowhere. That's intense. Um, so we got, let's see if I can position this here. We got two bags, two bags of books. Books is all we found. Um, that's kind of been the theme of this trip today is all we've found is books. I mean, which I'm not complaining. It's always nice to find a $80 to $100 PlayStation 2 game. That's what I love finding. Some of those old RPG PS2 games are amazing. So we spent 14 and some change. We rounded up for their youth program, so we spent 15 bucks in there. Uh, we have $52, I think, $52 left of that 100 And I'm pretty sure we're, we're right there at our goal. So I think we will do the 20-minute drive that way 20 minute drive that way that way uh, and then pick back up with you guys when we get there uh, this rain is kind of crazy though all right so here we are coming into downtown Rupert very very small um, the rain kind of uh, makes it a little hard to see you can say it dampens the situation <laughs> yeah. It says left or right here, you can't go straight. This is a one-way all the way around this central park right here. Uh, and there's a bookstore right down there that might be open. I might actually go there before the thrift store. Um, but there's this nice park in the middle here. And then it is just a small downtown. That's deceiving. That says the bookstore, but it's really just a print and copy shop. Uh, I've gone in there before, to my disappointment. Um, so there is the Youth Ranch Thrift Store. Um, but let's go ahead and drive around the downtown here just to see if that one bookstore so the bookstore that we're going to go there um it is a friends of the library uh -huh. so most libraries if you know they have a section in the library uh, where they sell books at this library here in rupert they don't do that what they do uh, is they actually have a small bookstore downtown here that they give all of their for sale books or donated books to. So we're gonna go there. Then they're only open uh, two or three days a week for a couple hours each time. And it may be them that closes uh, at three. Uh, and I've actually, I've never been there. I've never caught it when it was open. So big goal. Um, I know they said that they actually started doing some Amazon stuff, but I have a feeling that little old ladies there do not thoroughly scan every single book. So uh, it's right here, and you nope, know, the open sign that I saw was not for them. So you can see Friends of Demary uh, Library. Ah, yeah, I bet you have Reader's Digest and Chicken Soup for the Soul Sale. Um, let's see if we can zoom in here. Paperbacks, eight for a dollar, but they are not open. So I guess we go to the youth ranch back there uh, and see what we can find.
glasses below here. So D Hen jackets made in USA, eleven dollars. Easily, easily 150. It even has the Western Farm Service patch. Beautiful jacket. Easy, eleven dollars into a hundred. And these New Balance 900 hikers for seven, in amazing condition. Uh, should be an easy 45. Okay, so it stopped raining. Uh, we got three bags there. We have these uh, New Balance shoes, $7. Should get about 45 for those. Um, uh, only three books, but the big one is this guy right here. Now, it'll take about three weeks to a month to sell, but we'll get 50 bucks for it when it does. Lives in the Shadow with J. Krishnamurti. Anyways, uh, and then this big winner is the D-Hen jacket, which I'm not going to pull out. Um, but we paid $10.99 for that guy, and we should get about $150 for it. So that's awesome, especially with that Western Farm Service patch. Um, yeah, things I need to put on the car. Uh, shipping scale, yeah. But it has stopped raining. So that is really awesome. And I think I have lost my keys. Nope, here we go. All right, so let's get in here. And there really is no nowhere else for us to go right now. Uh, we've hit up one, two, to about six thrift stores, I believe. Uh, it is 2.50, which means we've been out for about three hours now. Uh, not bad. We're going to get home, calculate up everything that we spent, everything that we made. We didn't spend the whole hundred. We didn't spend the whole hundred, so we'll have to make it relative. Um, but yeah, let's get back and then add up all the profits and update you guys on how much we're going to make. So right here we have all the receipts, everything tallied up. Okay, so we have all the receipts right here. And we have $28 left, which means we only spent 72 So out of our 100 we have $28 left. Now looking at this, I'm not going to make you add it all up. The grand total here is $779, okay? And this is, uh, before you say anything, all the sales rank here, they should sell within a month, at the most a month and a half. Uh, and this coat here really is the only one that we're going to be waiting on, right? So all these are quick sellers. The coat might sit there for a couple months until there's some Western Farms uh, person that comes along and wants it. But how much do we actually profit, right? So calculating everything, $779 is what we make. But of that, only about 60 to 65% of that, really 60% of that is profit. The other 40% is just eaten up in fees and shipping. Now shipping is really inexpensive, especially when it comes to books. But with fees, the Amazon fees are quite a bit. So after everything, we should profit right around $457, okay, or $467, that's $779, uh, 60% of that, uh, so 460 bucks. So we didn't quite hit the 500, but we didn't spend the full 100. So 467 plus our $28 remaining is uh, 495 yeah, 495 so $5 off for about five hours total of work, so can't complain. I hope you guys had fun on this adventure with us. If you want to see more of these, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and we will pump out more of these for you guys. Uh, just as you guys all know, the crypto market has been going insane right now. It's been swinging up, it's been dumping down, and we've just been really covering that a lot, as I'm sure you know. But we will catch you guys on the next video.